Hey guys, I'm AA and I'm at the Umarex facilities in Arkansas and I've got Brianna Garvey with me. She's Hi. like Umarex expert. She works here, so <laughs> she knows a lot about this stuff. And I have a couple products that I'm picking up on my way through, so mm -hmm. Brianna's going to kind of go over them with us to kind of tell us what I can look forward to and what I'm bringing home. So this is the Umarex Iconics. It is a PCP rifle. It has, here's your tank right here. Um, you use a fill probe and it fills right here on the bottom and then this is a dust cover so you can just turn that and don't have to worry about any dirt getting out in there while you're hunting. Or losing a dust cover because it doesn't Or losing up. it, yeah. Um, it is a lever action. Super easy to work. Much easier than the old bolt actions that we had like the gauntlets. Um, those were pretty rough sometimes, but this is so much better. Um, they were great guns, but yes, the bolt yes, was Yes, the bolt was hard. Tough. I bruised my shoulder when I was cocking a 30 in a match because I had to do it so many times. Mm. We have the safety on the bottom, so you just slide that forward for fire, slide it back for safe. Can I see that for a yep. second? I want to see like how it would feel if you're shooting it as far as, I'm sure the safety needs worked a little bit. Yeah, it's brand new, so it hasn't yeah, so slipped it back needs forward much. That's, it's different. It's definitely different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it probably needs worked. We're getting it to loosen up, but it's, I like it better than the ones that are in front of the trigger, the trigger safeties. I yes. don't literally like those too much because that one, you really have to intentionally actually hit it. Yeah. And it's in the middle, so like we were talking about earlier, left or right-handed, it's kind of easy to get to. Um, yeah, she's left-handed, so yeah. she thinks about those things. That's right-handed people. We don't think about that stuff. But I like it a lot, and it's got a good grip texture right here when you're holding it. So if you get sweaty hands or dirty hands, it's not as bad. And it's a 22 caliber, 3,000 PSI, and a 10-round mag. So And it is only available in 22. Yes. It's got the pick rail, and you have the Axion um, you have that. a 16 by 44 on it. Yep. And so I've got it sighted in at 10 yards right now, so not very far, but um, it's a little less adjusting when you have to sight it in further. So so do you think maybe um, after we finish here, maybe we can go to the little indoor range and take a few shots? Yeah, if I can scare everybody out of there. I don't think there's many people in there on Friday, so we might be able to. Okay. Yeah. So if the range is open, we'll take this down there and take a few shots um, to show you guys what it does. But yeah, this is the Umarex Iconics. You said it's a budget rifle so you can get this for it is 189.99 so yeah nice just a little bit less than a, the no toast but it's a great starter well guys i'll have more coming on this we may go to the range in a little bit but i'll definitely have more coming on this i'm going to take this this exact one home with me but we're not done this is the next thing that i'll be taking home with me yep um, to check out and it's a pepper ball gun Less than lethal. You guys have heard of that before, right? So do you do you know all the details on this one? So that is a CO2 powered pepper ball and rubber ball gun. Um, like you said, less than lethal if you want to make something go away, but you don't want to kill it. Uh, we've had issues with um, raccoons in the trash can or if there's a dog that's like following you while you're walking and kind of biting at you. That That's an easy way to like not hurt the animal but make it go away. I've seen a video of a guy that actually shot a black bear that was trying to eat out of his bird oh, wow. feeder from his porch and so I was like and it worked. It worked. The Scared black bear off. left. I was like that was a little risky but it worked. <laughs> yeah I mean it's an option because I mean a lot of places you can't really you can't if things are threatening your home or whatever, you can't put them down. Yeah. You, it's really illegal. So this is another option to try to kind of push them out of where they shouldn't be. So this is to clean out your barrel um, after you shoot like the powder of pepper so you get all that residue out. So it's uh, basically like a squeegee oh. for your barrel. And then over here we have pepper balls and they're prepackaged and then this is sealed. so. You know, kids can't get in it, and you can't get in it until you're ready. You just cut it open with a knife, and then that's your rubber ball. You guys are going to send me more than that, right? Yes. <laughs> and then this is just your manual to make sure 
you know, you know how it works. Um, it shows your velocity, so that's 485 feet per second, um, six round capacity, and then just one CO2, and then this is our Gen 2 model. So it has a different grip texture right there. And then this is a different shape. It's a little easier to hold on to. The square, um, it was round, but I like the square better. So that's where your CO2 is going to go. Mm -hmm. And then you put it butt down because this is what's going to pierce it. Oh, okay. So when you get that screwed in, you make sure it's snug, but you don't have to use the Allen key to like wrench it down or anything. And it'll seal. And you can keep it in there for however long you want because it's not going to be pierced until you smack that. Oh, nice. So, yeah, like if you have it in your truck, you don't have to worry about CO2 leaking because um, all you got to do, you smack and then you're ready to go. Sweet. Sweet. Well, that's very convenient. Mm -hmm. So you just have to, you might need to practice because you need to get used to smacking it. Yes. Don't just try to shoot. It's not yeah. going to work. So it would be like any other pistol, mm -hmm. really. You need to practice with it. Oh, that's awesome. That is really cool. Um, I guess that's pretty much it for right now. We're going to see if the range is open to go shoot the Iconics. That is a really good group. That's 10 shots, all 10 shots. Yes. Yeah. Right there, sweet. All right, guys, so that's it for just today. I got more coming on the Iconics, the Umarex Iconics. Thank you, Brianna, for bringing us down here to the range. No problem. You showed us what it could do at 10 yards, and you pretty much had them in the same hole with every shot. That was a 10-shot <laughs> group, guys. And then we took the target back to 25, and not bad for my very first shots with this. Those were great shots. It's only going to get better. Look out for more on the Umarex Iconics. Again, thanks, Brianna. Thank you for coming. Yeah, no problem. Y'all don't just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya.